Okay, welcome to the second composition with GM Michelle Caillou. And so, Michelle, can you please tell us a bit about this composition, what it is, the stipulation? It is, the stipulation is proof game in 12 and a half, but still uh, uh, from the initial position, mm -hmm. white plays 13 moves and black plays 12 moves to, to reach the other position on the diagram. And there, there are two solutions. Two solution proof games. So those are pretty rare in itself, having two solutions in a proof game. That's nice. Okay. Let's try solving this. So, uh, like Michelle pointed out, um, it's white, black, white, black from the starting position for 12 moves and the final move is played by white, which essentially reaches this position. So, let's just see, first of all, this H into G3 capture is quite interesting because because of H into G3, what piece would have been captured on G3 is the question. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. You have to find uh, what uh, the piece was captured. Yeah. Um, okay, so. This one of the suspects could be this H pawn which captured something and then was mm -hmm. um, captured on G3 or maybe yes. Yes, but then what did it capture that's another question right because if that was the case then it must have captured either a promoted piece or this pawn on E2 clearly the pawn on E2 uh, yeah so maybe it's um, promoted and then got captured here. Could that be? Okay, let's try it out maybe. So e4, knight f6, e5, knight d5, e6, f6, take here. Now, which piece do we promote to is another important question. Probably I'll say the bishop. Should be still on the board in the uh, position. So if you capture it, you will not get the diagram. Mm, yeah, okay, so that's not possible. So here, after king e8, okay, black must first play queen e8 and then enable this um, thing to go forward. So maybe till then we go knight of 3, queen e8, and now promotion to something. Okay. Probably queen. Let's do. Let's go with queen for now. And then, what happens next? So, hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's go knight instead. Knight might be better because then, oh no, knight would be a check. That's not good. So it has to be a queen then. Then how does the queen get here in time? So but, uh, you have to the pawn has to go the black pawn has to go to g three in the end. So Yeah, so we need we would need time for that as well. So one, two, three, four. Okay, unless maybe this gets captured on G three. That was yes. <laughs> okay, and then what else? So then rook h4. No, first queen e d8, rook h4, king e8, rook to c4. Uh, what else is needed to do? Okay, and then rook h4. Boom, that's one solution. Right? Yes, that's it. You get it. That's one solution. With the uh, c3, you capture the black bone, who captures the promoted queen. Yes. Okay. So that's one solution and what exactly happens is that this pawn promotes of course after giving a time for promotion so king f7 queen e8 promotion occurs h5 this then gets captured on g3 take take and then this rook escapes to get to his 
final square, which is on C5, rook G4, C4. Now, the second solution. So, I guess if the first solution was this E pawn going and promoting, maybe the second would be another piece um, getting captured on G3. Mm. Mm. So, what could it be? Couldn't be this rook, of course, because this rook couldn't have gotten out before it came to G3. So, maybe it was this white queen? It has to be a black piece. No, but like this H pawn um, captures a white queen on G3 and then pawn into. But yeah, I think but, it would be more probable. the solution you already found. Okay, so the second solution, another black piece gets captured on G3, correct? Correct. Okay. So, what could it be? Well, could be captured. Pro maybe a queen could get captured on g3. So maybe let's try doing that. No, again, it feels unlikely that such a thing would happen. Um, okay. And you have the queen in the final position, and maybe the queen on d8. So you have to, if you sacrifice the queen, you have to restitute it. Yes, so not the queen most likely. What else could it be? The rook maybe, but then that also feels so improbable that that would be the case. So maybe h5, rook h6, rook here, and then rook g3. Could that be the case? Maybe let's try that out as well. You can try it, yes, but... Uh how many moves uh, for this? Mm, yeah, that would be a problem. So let's say rook h6. And also we just ran out of all for white, white thing to play. That's another issue as well, right? So what does white play in the remaining moves? Okay, but uh, you have just to come to the back move first and maybe uh, uh, to see if it can work. But yeah. you have to... The three moved by the rook first, and then the promotion of the pawn was eight. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then the rook back, uh, back in g4, that's uh, three, 12. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you have uh, three more moves, so it's two, one seven. by the name yeah. of the pawn. Yeah, so, so that's too many. To, to get uh, you have to get rid of the weapon. So, it's Yep, agreed. So, that's too many moves, this plan. So, and we can only play 12 moves from black, while we have 13 moves from white. So, what else could be the idea? Mm. Okay. What are the missing piece, black piece in the Devon? Well, we have one, the H pawn. And the D pawn. Oh, so maybe this D pawn promotes. Could that be the case and then gets captured on G3? Okay, that's interesting. Let's try that out. So maybe uh, C4, D5. Queen C2, D here, no, maybe not Queen C2, Queen B3, King D1, uh, then Knight F3, it's not unique, but like, let's just go with it, King C2, Queen, and then this Queen gets captured on G3 like this. Maybe that could be it, but like I think we I need to figure out the move order correctly. Yes, you have one element to add to the constraints of the game. So 
Mm -hmm. So this E2 pawn gets captured and then goes to E1. But for that, where does this king hide? That's an important question. Um, E3, no, so. So this, this you have the piece that reach T4, E3. But you have some to finish the game after. You have to mm -hmm. to freeze the other black piece in this uh, pocket. One, two, three, four, five, so. It will take black five moves to get to it, their original square, so to their final square. So we have time of, well, yeah, seven moves. Time, and the seven moves must probably be take, take, queen e5, queen g3. Okay. So now, and how many moves does white have? So that's one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then so we have seven, uh, eight moves from white as well to try and make this promotion. Okay. Okay, let's, I mean, I was thinking, so let's go here, queen, and then knight f3, something like this, queen e5, king d1, queen g3, knight f6, and then we need to get this rook to c5. It's too, too long. Too long, no, yes. No, no, you have a uh, enough white move. Correct. So we won't have enough white moves since we also have to go king e1, queen d1 as well. So that's two extra moves. Okay. But the, uh, the thing that you play here is that you have to capture the x, x7 pawn. You have the uh, black move. Uh, oh, yeah. So maybe we go this first and then wait d into e2 king here queen so queen h5 queen here queen no but queen d1 won't be possible no and also this should be c4 not c3 right yes yes okay i'll change that later but Queen e5, king d1, g3. Of course, it's not unique, but let's just try it out to see what is happening. So, you see. Yeah, and now we see the problem, right? So, how does this rogue go to c5? Uh, we have almost all the elements. Yeah, yeah, so how does this rogue go to c5? And it can't reach there in two moves. Okay, that's not it, but I think we're somewhat getting there. Taking this pawn. Now I think we need to um, make the move order better. No, it's okay. Here, check. And then queen. Then knight f3, queen e5. King d1, queen g3, knight f6. Ah, rook h6 first. And no, then. No, no. It's too, too many more. Really? Oh no. <laughs> Just one move short. Just one move. <laughs> okay, that's not it either. So, because, so you, you have one. Yeah. Because you can spare, you have a more direct uh, pass. Yeah. So, what could we spare? I think the thing was here we had to play rook h5, c5 in two moves, but because of knight f6, and then. 
Mm. Maybe here, instead of taking, we first go queen c2, rook h4, take, ah, and then this, surely. Rook c5, knight d5, king e1, f6, queen d1. That's it. That's it. Wow, that's amazing. So, so in one solution, this queen and king have to move so that white promotes. In the other solution, the queen and the other white king, queen and king move so that this black pawn promotes. Oh my god! Wow. Yes. And of course, the added effect that in the first solution, white plays rook h5. Oh, sorry. In the second solution, rook h5, rook c5. And, but in the first solution, it was like rook h rook h4 first, I think. Rook c4 and then rook yes. c5. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Okay, so let me just uh, recap this really quickly. So in this solution, it's PG in 12.5 with two solutions. Now, two solution proof games are rare, but Michel being such a legend, of course, he makes them so easily. So um, in the first solution, e4, knight f6, e5, knight d5, e6, f6, ed7, king f7. So now the kings and queens move so that the white pawn can promote. d8 queen, h5, queen d6, h4. And finally this h pawn captures on g3 after which h into g3 is made possible. And so everything opens up. So queen d8, rook h4, king e8, rook c4, hmm, rook c5, rook g4, and c4 reaching the diagrammed position in 12.5 moves precisely. Note, these bla black queen and king performed a switchback, so king f7, king e8, and then queen e8, queen d8. Um, what else? In the second solution, however, it's c4, d5, queen c2, d4, takes d3, king c2, d into e2, king c2, queen, and then knight f3, queen e5, king d1, queen g3, and then now important is the move order. We first must go queen c2, so that black can go rook to h4, after which h into g4, rook g4, rook h5, knight f6, rook c5, knight d5, king e1, f6, and queen to d1, thus reaching the diagram position in a different way, because the white queen and king performed a switchback. Unlike in the first solution where the black queen and king performed a switchback. So this queen went to h7 and then came back. And same for this king, went to d1, c2, came back. Wow. So is, are there any other elements which I missed? No, it's okay. You find everything. It was... Uh, uh, yeah. Tony, it was for the 60th and uh, birthday of Marco Bonavoglia, which okay. was the Italian okay. composer. And uh, the theme was uh, for proof game with white and black echo. Mm. Okay, so it was two solution proof games were only allowed? Yes, or well, oh, maybe twins, I don't remember exactly. Okay. It was uh, ten years ago. <laughs> So I don't the details. Uh, and it was eco. So in one solution, white does like a particular maneuver, and in the other solution, black does the same thing. Yes, that's it. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have a white queen capture on g3, and the black queen capture on g3. So yeah. Okay. Seven. That's the added effect as well. So there are two promotions. Both are Sariani Frolkins. One promotion on D8, another promotion on E1, and both get captured on G3. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. Thank you, and see you in the next video.